baby bus. Aesop's Fables, The Fox's Dinner. Wow, my new home is really beautiful. With all these trees and the little pond, it's wonderful. It was the first day that the stork was staying in her new house. She put all her numerous bags and packages down. The stork talked to herself as she sorted the packages. Let's see, these fish are for my neighbors. A fox peeped through a hole in the tree. Oh, there's a new neighbor. The fox was greedy and stingy, and he always liked to get any little thing he could all for himself. When he saw the stork's packages, his eyes lit up. Whoa, so many delicious things. If I become friends with this stork, I can go into her house and eat and drink all I want. <laughs> the fox crawled through the hole and greeted the stork. Hello, dear neighbor. Welcome to your new home. Hi, hello, fox. So to celebrate your new place, why don't you come to my house for dinner tonight? That sounds... The stork was hesitant, so the fox quickly put on an enthusiastic front. Ah, yes! My good neighbor, you really must come. I've prepared a sumptuous dinner for you. Well, okay then. That evening, the stork went to the fox's house. As she entered, she smelt the aroma of creamy corn soup. Mmm, it smells so good! The stork inhaled and thought, what a good neighbor this fox is. Make yourself at home. Dinner will be ready soon. After a short while, the fox put two shallow plates on the table, saying, Try it, my dear stork. I made this plate of creamy corn soup just for you. The stork was surprised. Oh, look at this plate. This is shallow and flat, and my beak is so long and sharp, I can't even take a bite. Go on. Try it, my good neighbor. Have as much as you'd like. The fox said to himself, secretly rejoicing, Huh, I'm not going to save any of the best stuff for you. Your beak is so sharp. Let's see how you eat it. The stork tap, tap, tapped her beak on the table, but she didn't eat anything. The fox stretched out his tongue and slurped up all the soup in one gulp. Ah, uh, my dear stork. Why aren't you eating your soup? Don't you like it? Let's not waste food. I'll eat it for you. The fox picked up the sork soup and swallowed it all in one gulp, too. Uh, you, you, you. The stork was angry. She had never met such a pushy fellow in all her life. My dear stork, we're already such good friends, and good friends must share. I've shared my creamy corn soup, don't you think? The fox raised his eyebrows at the stork. The stork knew exactly what he meant. Hmm, you purposely kept me from eating my soup so you could eat it yourself. All right then, I'll teach you a lesson. The stork quickly came up with an idea. Fox, you had me over for dinner today. Tomorrow's my turn. I'll prepare a big meal for you. My dear stork, don't worry, I won't be late. Ha! I finally get to eat the stork's goodies. <laughs> the following day, the fox got to the stork's house very early. Dear stork, what are we going to eat tonight? A delicious fish dinner? I can't wait. Hang on, I'll be right there. As she spoke, the stork picked up two slender bottles and poured the fish broth she had made into them. Fox, try this. I made this especially for you. It was the fox's turn to be surprised. He lit the mouth of the bottle for a moment, smelling the delicious broth inside it. But he just couldn't find a way to eat the broth. How do I eat this? The stork reached its pointy beak into the bottle and ate with ease. Fox, why aren't you eating? The stork finished her own soup, then pretended to be surprised. She said, Hmm. Huh. You don't like this kind of broth? Let me finish it for you then. With that, she finished all the broth in the fox's bottle. The fox really regretted it. Oh no, if I had known this was going to happen, 
I would have been more sincere instead of always thinking about how I could get all the good things for myself.